Welcome back everybody to another episode of Road Life with Chris. Today we are going to learn how to do billet steel. So we got 17 pieces of 5x5 five five solid billet steel. Uh, they are 30 foot long and 10 inches. So that's what we're going to do today. Um, so what we're going to start off with is since we are on a step deck we've got a bulkhead products up to it therefore we do not have to build a bulkhead because we already got one so what we're going to do is we're going to do some belly straps and then we're going to do some regular straps on it as well uh, you can run chain depending on your customer if they want chain or not some will say no chain some say must chain um, so it really depends on what your customer wants so today we're going to do uh, straps with edge protection so we're going to set up here and get started like i said we're going to start off the first thing we're going to do is we want to hold everything together because as you can see they're individual pieces all the way across there's 17 of them and so what we want to do is we actually want to hold them all together so we're going to do a belly strap on the front we're going to do a belly strap in the middle and we're going to do a belly strap on the very end in between there we're going to do our regular two in the first five one every five and two in the last five of the straps over the top using edge protection as well uh, the reason we do two in the first five and one every five and two in the last five is because here in texas which is where we're at in seguin texas uh, their dot requires the two in the first five one every five and two in the last five uh, as well as a couple other states i think washington oregon but the dot federal is two in the first 10 one every 10 and two in the last 10 but because we are in texas we've got to do two in the first five one every five and two in the last five also because i work for paul transportation our company policy is two in the first five one every five and two in the last five so we have to follow that so that's what we're going to go by as well and uh so that's what we're going to get started on uh like i said we're going to be using straps and edge protection and uh we're gonna do and be doing some belly straps so we're gonna get started on that and i'll check back when with you here in a few minutes all right so we got some straps here first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and do a belly strap right here on the very front so what we're gonna do is there's different ways to throw the strap to keep from hurting yourself so one way is to let me adjust the camera so maybe you can see me a little better so you take your strap right you roll off about uh, three and a half foot okay depending on what hand you are all right push one side up let it fall down pinch it now you've got a little cradle and you can throw it a lot easier all right so right on across all right Then we hook it. Sorry about my hand in the way. So we hook it to the bottom of the rub rail. That way, whenever something backs into you or scrapes up against you or something like that, then it'll bend the rub rail in, pinch your strap, and hold it more secure. If you have your strap on the outside, like a DOT wrap, for instance, I'll show you. You'll see some do it this way. So now you're exposing your strap to be cut and then you can have your load become unsecure. So another way they do it is what they call the DOT wrap. Which is this, which is also a way that we don't do it because now everything's exposed for damage and can be cut. So we don't want to do it that way. So we're going to go back to our way here at Paul Transportation which is to hook the hook to the bottom of the rubber up, just like that, all right? So we're gonna go ahead and get this thing ran and then uh, go from there. We're gonna go ahead and on the other side and grab the uh, hook. all right so a belly strap you see is hooked okay it runs over the top 
goes down comes back underneath right here and then back over the top all right so you want to make sure that these two right here do not touch or overlap because that would not be legal so now you've got it over there and then you can cinch it all together and what it's going to do is kind of like a choker or a belly strap and it holds all that together it holds it all together so that way it doesn't come apart and then we'll throw everything on top of it and then we'll put another one in the middle and then another one at the very end okay so we're going to finish tightening this one here down like i said we hook on this side right goes across the top down under comes out right here and back across to the other side and then tighten down so we'll winch everything i'll winch this one on that side so next strap will be going across top right here so we're gonna go ahead and i'm gonna show you another way that you can throw a strap it's not all the way cool so we got this other strap right here so what you can do again just come down right here bring it up a little bit all right so what you're going to do bring it around now you're making a loop so now you can actually hold it right make an adjustment then when you're ready to throw it that way you're not hurting yourself as much clear then you can actually just kind of fling it and it goes over again just hook it to the bottom of the rail and so now we'll start over the top and we'll go back and we'll put edge protection on all this stuff right here before we tie it all down so that's our first one then we'll throw another one just back here you know roughly two feet throw another strap from that direction over here so you have opposite pull in directions you don't want to pull everything into one direction so we go back and forth alternating that way you have one going that way one coming back so that's what we're doing next so this is one of our edge protectors it's a four inch it's a piece of plastic some will use uh, cardboard, some have uh, eight inch uh, edge protectors, six inch. They also call them a V-board. It's not really a V-board because it's four inch. Uh, V-boards are usually a little bit bigger, but they come in different sizes, different colors. They are used to keep uh, your strap from cutting into certain product like uh, drywall, wall board, uh, gypsum board. Uh, particle board uh, your bags of uh, concrete uh, if it's bagged it's used on shingles it's used on bricks uh, what it does is it does two purposes it helps to protect your strap from steel and abrasive material like brick shingles so on and so forth and it also helps protect the product and it's real simple on how you use it all you do is just take it and you put it between your strap and your product like here so now that edge protection is installed properly on this steel load so we also have like i said we also use it on uh, uh wall board gypsum board uh, stuff like that shingles bricks and uh, all steel loads you can use it for you know, place between your chain uh, and the steel to help keep it from from eating each other and you set it between like i said between your strap anywhere your, your straps making contact with the product so that way it's protected so we're going to continue on all right so now you see we've got our first belly strap we've got our first strap going across from the driver's side to the pasture. So now <clears throat> we're gonna go back two foot and put another strap. That way we're within our, our requirement of two and the first five. So the way we figure that out is from your stake pocket, center of your stake pocket, to center of stake pocket is two foot. From the center of the pocket or the uh, slot right behind the stake pocket to the center of the next one is two foot. So on and so forth. It's two foot because it's all uniform all the way down. So here to here is two foot, here to here is two foot. 
So we're gonna go two foot. So we're right behind the stake pocket. So we're gonna go right behind this stake pocket and that'll be two foot. So he's gonna go ahead and throw this strap across. All right, so then while it's here, because it is a little windy, so we're gonna go ahead and tuck it through the rail here. That way the wind's not blowing it all around. And while we're here, make sure everything is straight, not twisted. Then I'm gonna go ahead and grab an edge protector, stick an edge protector up here and get ready to hold it. And then I'm gonna slide a winch down. So now, once we tighten all this up right here, you'll see belly strap first over the top, second over the top going in opposite directions. So we have opposite pull. So we're not pulling it all one direction. We're going to be pulling it both ways. That way it stays in, in one spot and stays still. And that way we are within company policy. We are within DOT policy. And we are also within uh, the uh, uh, state regulation, DOT regulation, federal regulation. So we are legal. So that's what we're going to continue to do. And then back here, I've already got one strap set down. That tells me that I am going to throw a belly strap right here with a hook on that side. I've got another one back here set up. That tells me I'm going to throw another belly strap right here with a hook to this direction. So another way you can set it up is knowing up here, this one came from over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go back five feet, all right? So we got right here. So we got two, four, and then we're gonna go right here. And so this strap right here will go this direction with a hook on this side. So now it's set up and ready to go. So I can start moving on down the road, moving on and getting it all done with a little bit faster time frame. So I will check back in with you here in a few minutes. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and run our strap through the winch and start tightening it down. There's several ways to do it, but the way I like to do it is once I've got it through the rub rail, make sure it's inside, hang it down. I've got my winch in place. All right, put one hand behind it, lay the other one on it, pull it through. So that way you get it to where it's easier to tuck through and it's all gonna be straight. Then, push it through the winch all the way over the top pull it out so you can either fold it overhand or you can go underhand I personally go overhand so you fold it all the way up overhand I leave a little bit of slack right here. That way when I tuck this right here up and under, bring it up, then I can pull the slack. Did you charge it? Get everything lined up. The screen up. went off. And then tighten it down. All right, pull the straps up way don't get down the winch. And now I'm in the winch and ready to be tightened up. So we'll tighten it up here in a minute. Off. all right welcome back so we got it all secured as you can see we've got our belly strap okay over the top going that way over the top coming this way alternating to edge protection all right same thing all right alternating edge protection here's our middle belly strap all right here's the next one you know, as you can see, I didn't count this as part of my five foot. I counted this. So if you go right here, right? Two, four, boom. I'm within that five foot, correct? So here to here, two, four, bam, five foot. The next one over the top, all right? Two, four, bam, five foot. All right, so then because I've got a triple axle step deck, I don't have any winches between the tires. So I had to go with two inch. And so that two inch is rated at 3,335 pounds. That's the working load limit. 
So I've got two of those at 3,335. And then I've got my four inch, which are rated at 54. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight at 5,400. So let's just say that's 5,000. Five times eight is what? 45. So then we got two at 3335 so we'll just say 3000 that's another six so we are roughly at 51,000 pounds worth of aggregate working load limit so the aggregate of course is all of your working or all of your uh securement systems added up that is your aggregate so we're at over 51,000 pounds so our load itself is 47,000 pounds so we are it have exceeded the 100% load securement, which DOT requires a 50% load securement. Here at Paul, we strive to hit 100%. So that's where we're at. We've now hit 100% plus some. So this load is properly secured and legal, edge protection, everything. So it is completely legal. So thank you for joining me. Um, if you have any questions hey leave me a comment don't forget to like and subscribe hit that little notification bell you know all that crazy stuff and uh hell who knows maybe i might do something you actually like if i don't i don't give a damn but anyway i'm doing things the right way because it's all about being safe out here and my family rides in front of me on both sides of me and behind me when I'm going down the road. And I'm not going to do anything to hurt my family. And so hopefully you don't either. So we're all done here now. We're going to go do our uh, workflow because that's what we use here. And uh, we're going to head on down the road. So we'll catch you later.